and welcome to the Part-Time Nerd Podcast with me, your host, Alan. And joining me today is Mr. Disappointed Dave. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, man. How are you? It's beautiful. You know what I'm, doing? I'm doing good. We uh we took a day off. Like we've been doing so much, recording so much, watching so much. Uh, just and, and yeah, okay. Titan season finale was yesterday. Okay. Well, I, we needed a day. Who so does? well. Well, if you're talking well, about no. yesterday, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Right, 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 yeah. right. So right. we took the day off. But we're here, you know. Sometimes you need that mental health day just to kind of to reset. You, you, when you're doing things like this, you want to have fun with it, you want to enjoy it, and you don't want it to be a job. So sometimes you just gotta say, you know what? It'll still be there tomorrow. <laughs> and that so is, here we are. That is accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, episode thirteen, the season finale, Purple Rain. Um, there was no appearance of the song purple rain in this in this episode um you had a a, a a missed opportunity we'll call it uh by by not playing that song but i'm sure it was pretty expensive to get the rights for that but i mean come on hbo you make a lot of money step it up if you're going to use the name purple rain then use the song um but other than that what'd you think uh it was okay it was a it's set up next season. I don't know, man. They 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 take down the scarecrow for yep. uh, Doctor Crane. They get to the house. They, I did like uh, several scenes of it, but yeah, I'm with you, right? I saw the name Purple Rain. I go, here we go. And I thought the ending was gonna. They play some other effing song that I knew. That was an old oldie too. And I was like, oh okay, but uh, so disappointed. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, yeah. I mean, it's it. Closed up season three, right? They get Dr. Crane out. They, they finally get to him. They get him in a mental institution. Um, the the I like that wacky doctor or the scientist, right? He seems yeah. to be my guy now. He shows up. <laughs> he's working on a black fires. I got a, hey, we can get you back out there. I got a, he even mentions a 3D. I can 3D print most of this stuff. Dude, I lost it when he, when he said that. He's like, yeah, my 3D printer can print most of these little things. I was like, ah! <laughs> well i mean that's most people think of 3d printing as like doing small things and whatever but there's like 3d print they 3d print houses and walls and stuff because that's the technology you know with the right. just depends on the material that you have or the, the the equipment you're using um so you know connor and blackfire they they make amends they're working together i'm surprised that they were like together when i first saw him i was like what the did he just blow up her ship on purpose yeah. <laughs> um yeah. All in all, I mean, it, it was okay. I thought it was fine. I, I give me more Commissioner Gordon, as always. All right. She's there. Argus. Uh, she finds out that V is a part of Argus, or she works for Argus. Whatever yeah, it is, she works for Argus. And then you find out Roy Harper is the the head of Argus, um, which is a Red Hood, not Red Hood, uh, Red Arrow slash Arsenal in the comics so you get that name drop in there so is that someone we might see in the future uh I, I would love to see that uh but yeah you find out you know argus is is right there been watching things which okay if you've been there all along you've been watching things why did you stop something sooner like why why did we wait so long the same you reason know? that the show we when you mention it why doesn't connor just get involved and in, and in, to the potential of his, you know, because it'd be one episode for like 20 minutes. This isn't like, you know, okay. he could just swoop in and get the doctor at any time. Let's be honest, right? But then, then again, you give us that season finale you gave us, and everything just wrapped up too quickly and too neatly and and, and too easy, I feel like. Yeah. Like, there wasn't a lot. There wasn't any conflict. No, no. They just had to get by some cops. I mean, how hard is that for yeah. super, super people? Um, and what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, dang it. I already... Ah. Did you laugh at um, Jason's code? He was the last person to reset the code, so everyone knew what it was—the five-digit code. <laughs> Four twenty sixty-nine. <laughs> Dude, so you get Red Hood back. Um, him and uh, he's not part of the Titans, but he redeemed himself. You said it was coming. Uh, Dick uh, had Garth get into the house by turning into a bat again. Jason's guarding the hallway. He's there, so it's you know he. He turned out to be a good guy, I guess. He's trying to make his turn, and uh, this is step one of it. So we'll see if we he pops back up next, next episode. Well, I like this character. We're, we're getting a Red Hood spinoff show. 
Oh, okay. So, because he's leaving Gotham, he's not going with the Titans. He's going off on his own, um, and and that's what he does in the comics. He goes off on his own, and he's he's doing his own thing as Red Hood and the Outlaws, and they they fight crime, but differently. He's okay with killing and things like that, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Fighting with the guns and stuff. So yeah, so we're gonna get that spinoff, which I I am excited about because I do love uh, his character. I love how they've portrayed him as the Red Hood. And I, I, the actor who's playing was great, so yep. I, I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And you have the ending where everybody's getting like they're about to hop on a jet, but then Dick shows up with an RV. And I don't, I mean, <laughs> sure, it sounds like a fun time for a road trip, but seriously, like an hour and a half into a road trip, you're bored. Like, it, let's be <laughs> honest, you got too many people crammed into a small space. One of them could just fly there, right? I mean, Connor could be there in about I don't know he 14 minutes pick up the RV and fly them there in the RV. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, and you hit Starfire's like, what is that? And Dick's like, it, it's an RV. What? You never seen one before? Come on, bro. Oh, <laughs> and uh, so they're leaving. Donna staying behind. And then they, Dick asks if uh, the Drake's coming with him. He goes, you coming? Are you yeah. ready? You know what I mean? And and so this is where he's going to begin his training. Um We'll see how it goes. You know, I mean, I, I don't. We'll see how he is as Robin. We'll see how his character goes. He's been kind of hit or miss for me in these last couple episodes. He just, I don't know if it's how they're portraying him or how he's acting or whatever it is, but it just seems like, you know, all of a sudden he can do some kung fu because he watched a YouTube video. And then there's well, other he, times he, he did he a kick. kick. He did a kick. Did okay. A Let's yeah, not get ahead of ourselves. He's not doing kung fu. He did a kick. He kicked <laughs> the guy. <laughs> and then didn't he punch? I guess he laid out uh scarecrow okay. or something like that yeah. i'm like yeah i mean let's let's pump the brakes but uh and that that whole scene was kind of a little bit too over the top for me like they they stroll in there right in flying v formation and and it's like so you've always wanted to see the bat cave tim here it is dun, dun, dun. and he's like you want to take care of it i didn't wow. mind that comment but the rest of after that it was like you know you but that whole scene was over the top mm -hmm. um but yeah, they 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 get a hold and throw him back in Arkham. And for some reason, Arkham lets two civilians walk up to the the thing, open the door uh, to to the Doctor Crane. You know what I mean? And but they unleash the I guess the that demon or whatever. Yeah. Into him, and so he's just screaming the whole time. Well, I guess was that it's part of the Lazarus Pit or something like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I, I guess she pulled all the evil out of the Lazarus Pit, so that when they turned it into a storm cloud and made it rain on everyone and just wake up uh, from and stop being dead, which I, I have all kinds of issues with that whole portion, but that's, that's neither here nor there, right? That's not how the Lazarus pit works. Um, <laughs> you sound like that old lady from that progressive commercial. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> that's not how this works, but whatever, this is, this is what we're going with. This is what you're doing. Cool. Um, but yeah, they, they have all the dark. I guess they pulled all the darkness out and then they put it in crane. So, okay, that's kind of messed up though. A you know little I mean? bit, a little bit. Yeah, no, but I mean, they, they've got up. the access because Barbara probably, you know, gave them the okay or Argus did. Um, but I would say it, it's over for him. I mean, now he's just sitting there screaming because all he has is memories and thoughts and whatever that just got into a, it, got into his brain. So he's just sitting there screaming for the last couple minutes of the show. Yeah. Um, so I guess he's done. We'll see how that uh, season four goes. You know who's going to be the first villain? I mean, they they kept Crane around so long. You know what I mean? It like it took entirely way too long to take this guy down. Yeah, but you but you also had the conflict that they were going through and the, the issues that they were de dealing with as the Titans and yeah, just trying to figure out their way and get through it. it Dick was going through so much, you know. Um, and he died. Yeah, yeah, he died. I don't know if you know that or not, but he died. And Donna died too, but she came back. Dick yeah, came back. back. Jason died. He came back. They didn't bring back Hawk, though. No, they didn't. <laughs> Even though they they effed with me for one episode for having him in, and I was like, God, ah, Dad! <laughs> Which I mean, that just would have been interesting if you brought him back because his body was in pieces all over the place. So I, I don't know how that well that would have worked out. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe he just didn't have a choice to come back. Just like, yeah, maybe he mean? tried already. That's why he knew where it was and all that. And he's just like, yeah, no, you guys go. I, I got this. Um, <laughs> you can't put my body back together. It's, it's a puzzle that can't be done. Oh, Jesus. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> but I mean, all in all, I, I enjoyed the season. I had fun with it. Um, this episode, there, there were cheesy things like when Donna throws the lasso of truth up in the sky. How long is that thing, right? It's not that long, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to fall out of my chair and eye roll real hard. I was just thinking, it's the but, not that she did it. It's the like you're you're right, right? The lasso just kind of kept going. Just the length, like it was just absurdly long. Okay, um, you can't fly up to like a top of a building and do it. Let's keep a little bit of, but hey, whatever. Again, I had fun. I had fun with the season. I enjoyed it. I think he kind of mailed it in a little bit the last last few episodes. They just kind of like, you know what? We're kind of done writing this season. Um, so let's just go ahead and just finish everything up. Plus, here's the thing. You have all these cops in Wayne Manor. They all know that Bruce Wayne's Batman now. Do you think none of them are saying anything? They're all dead now, right? I don't think they're all dead. There's a lot that weren't. No, you know, I don't. They didn't go through. They didn't go through there and kill them all. Nightwing didn't kill anybody. Well, they're gonna know? have to now because I mean they have to <laughs> get rid of the the proof, right? I mean that's and just the fact that like they've got to know who Nightwing is, right? Like that's not like a a well kept secret. As he just keep all season long, he just keeps strolling into Gotham PD, right, and <clears throat> and, and doing all that, but. I've never understood how this little mask from here to here, <laughs> he can't figure out who they are. Like, no, comic book stuff is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're, you're not expecting it, right? It's one of those that, like, until you you know the truth, you don't see it because you, you're not going to expect it. But, yeah, yeah, besides yeah. but a, a, again, a great season. I, I enjoyed it. Um, looking forward to the next season. Looking forward to Red Hood spinoff. Uh, that's really all I got today. You got anything else? No, I mean, I think you hit it. Um, you know, we had more episodes of us saying how much we enjoyed this season. You know, if you go back and and watch these these reaction videos, there's more times of us saying that we really enjoyed something rather than, eh, you know what I mean? So um, just it ended weird for us. And yeah. that's what kind of, you know, tarnished it or whatever. But ultimately, yeah, I thought it was a good season three. We'll see uh, when season four is coming out. And I guess we'll be watching. We'll be back for sure. But hey, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment. If you have any recommendations for us, part time nerd podcast at gmail.com. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Deuces.